And Father, we want to say thank you for your worthy, your mighty, your gracious. And there is no one like unto you, Lord, not to compare with you, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the great I am. The one who was, the one who is, and the one who is to come. We just want to say thank you for your mercies that endures forevermore. Thank you for your grace that is sufficient for us. Thank you, Lord, because your steadfast love is new every morning. We want to say thank you, O oh Lord, because we know, Father Lord, that we're not consumed by your grace because we are called and we are children. Thank you, O oh God, because we build upon our bodies the Mac of Christ. Thank you, O oh Lord, because you have a thought concerning us, thought of good and not of evil, to give us a future and a hope. We thank you, O oh God, because we are the apple of your eyes. And Lord, you've called us and you've chosen us. Father, we thank you because we are yours. Blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We still have a challenge of reading 10 books in 10 weeks. If you just hearing this, this is your day one. So start buying books and read one book i'm sure a lot of us have books already that you've not read a lot of us have more books in on our shelves than we do in our spirits and so you may want to go back to all those books just read just keep reading you'll be amazed that all that you've been asking for they have been hidden on the pages of the books you have refused to open We've also been reading um, the Bible. We've been reading different. Um, we've been reading the gospel and sharing the works of Jesus. Why John fourteen twelve says, "Greater works shall you do," and we wanted to know which greater works. What did Jesus do? How did he go about it? How what, what should be our mindset when it comes to? miracles and i say always have it in mind healing is a children's bread he sent his word he healed them and delivered them from all the destruction about it by the stripes of jesus you were healed believe that you already healed and then claim it take it confess it and stay on the word study to show yourself approved and you'll be amazed that the word of god once it enters for the entrance of the word gives light and understanding to the simple you will arise and you will shine when that light comes and you'll be amazed that kings will now come to the brightness of your horizon people want to see much more you're written a piece and people want to see the word of god in you they want you to manifest it and so they know that oh so this is real so i personally i want to leave the miracles of God. I want to leave the testimony of the Word of God. I just don't want to preach it. I don't want to just confess it. I want to see it manifest in my life. I've seen it over and over and over again. And if you believe it, it will manifest in your life as well. Today, I want to remind us that life is about making choices. That's one scary thing. Uh, but what helps me is the fact that God works in us both to will and to do his own good pleasure. Let me read a scripture from the book of Ecclesiastes to you. Chapter 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 9. I'll read from verse 11. The Bible says, again I saw that under the sun the race is not to the swift. It's not how fast you can run that determines who wins. Nor the battle to the strong. Nor bread to the wise. Nor riches to the intelligent. Nor favor to those with knowledge. But time and chance happen to them all. Let listen to verse 12. For man does not know his time, but God does. Because he doesn't know his time, like a fish that are taken in an evil net 
and like birds that are caught in a snare. So the children of man are snared at an evil time when it suddenly falls upon them. Time and chance happens to them all. If there is an evil time, that means there is a good time. And so they're both moving. Evil time and good time are both moving. And the Bible says that just like the fish is caught in a snare, so the children of men are caught. Why? Because they do not understand time and season. Life is like time, timing, and they're in movement. We are also moving. And so if you do not have what it takes to move in the time of good, you're likely to move in the direction of evil. Now, I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to let you see or know how this world is operating. This life is about good. Evil is about life and death is about negativity and positivity. And so you'll find people who have good intentions trapped because they don't understand how to navigate a life. They don't understand what time and life is about. They don't understand that there's time and chance. And they don't understand that there is what they call the evil net, the evil snare, the evil trap. There are traps set here and there. You don't want to fall into the trap of the enemy. Mm. So you need to know. No wonder Moses was talking in the book of um, Deuteronomy 30, 15 to 20. The Bible says, See, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I command you today by loving the Lord your God, by walking in his ways and by keeping his commandments and his statutes and his rules, then you shall live and multiply and the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you're entering to take possession of it. But if your heart turns away and you were not here, but are drawn away to the evil nets, you're drawn away to doing what is wrong. You're drawn away. So if there is a drawing, there's a pulling in this world. There is a pulling to evil. There's a pulling uh, to good. He said, but if you are drawn away, why would you be drawn away? Because there is always an evil net. And the Bible says, just like a fish is trapped in the net. You know, there is always, if you go fishing, you just throw the net and you put the bait in it. And you're waiting on the fish to go for the bait and trap. There are baits here and there on earth. I tell people, just do the do's. Don't mind what is happening. Don't mind the evil. Just go in the direction of God. And then you will escape the evil nets but there are evil nets here and then that's why people will ask why did this happen or why did this not happen i just tell people forget about what is happening to other people you do the do's walk in god's statutes walk in his commandments be where he wants you to be and then you will not be trapped <laughs> Because it's God that walks in us, both the will and to do his good pleasure. Give your heart to him. Commit your heart to him on a daily basis. This is not a weekly thing. It's not a Sunday, Sunday thing. The just will live Sunday to Saturday by faith. He will die without faith. And so you need to constantly walk by faith. For no one can please God without faith. And faith always walks you know, always shows itself by works. Works of what? Works of God. 
you have to just do you don't do god a favor by being walking under the shadow of the almighty you do yourself a favor there are nets there are traps here and there you don't want to fall into those traps it was to say i declare to you today that you shall surely perish that is if you're drawn away you shall not live long in the land that you're going over the jordan to enter and possess if you're drawn away i call heaven and earth to witness against you today that i have set before you this life and death blessing and curse life is a choice Therefore, choose life that you and your offspring may live, loving the Lord your God, obeying his voice, and holding fast to him. For he is your life and length of days that you may dwell in the land that the Lord swore to your father to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. Life is a choice. There are evil and there are good, negative, positive. You need to know what to choose, where to go. Don't, there is no gray area. I want to do good, but I want to enjoy that first. There are nets, there are traps. And there are baits. Don't fall for the baits of the enemy. You need to understand, like fish that are taken in an evil net, and like birds that are caught in a snare. Ecclesiastes 9:12. So the children of man are snared at an evil time when it suddenly falls upon them. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 2, it says, Make sure that you are not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may know what is good, what is acceptable, and what is the perfect will of God. You need to know that time and chance happening to them all, timing of good, timing of evil, we don't know the time and so you don't want to be entrapped by chance and so you want to be on the side of god so you can fulfill his will it's not every open door that is opened by god and you want god to shut those doors the only way he will shut those doors is when you are on his side there is no way the hawk will not take a child or a chick that has refused to abide under the wings of his mother when the hawk is flying or prowling the sky. You need to know that when the evil days, evil times, and God will keep his own, God will keep you in the mighty name of Jesus. Just abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Make sure you cast your vote for God all the time. No compromises. How do you do that? Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 17. Finally, be strong. Don't be scared. Yeah, there are evil nets, but don't be afraid. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the strength of his might. When you're weak, he is strong. And his strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. But you've got to trust him. You've got to cast your confidence in him. You've got to trust him with all your heart. And so you don't lean on to your own understanding in all your ways. You've got to acknowledge him. Everything you do, let God know that you can do nothing without him. Put him first in everything that you do. 
don't remember God when things are not going well, going your way. When things are going your way, go to God and say, God, I give you all the glory. If this door is not opened by you, you know I'm always willing not to go in. Shut it. That's how you acknowledge God. You're not only acknowledging God when you think things are not working right or when you're scared. When you're celebrating, when you're enjoying, you also want to bring God into it. God should always be there. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. Why? That you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. Let me re rewrite that for you. If you don't put on the whole, not some, but the whole armor of God, you will not be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. You will not be able to do it. So put on the whole armor of God. If you put on some of the armor of God, you still will not be able to withstand the schemes. It causes schemes. Some strategists say the wiles. He's scheming. Don't think that the devil is your classmate. That guy is old. He knows you. And he knows the best trap to set. He knows what makes your heart beat. He knows what is easy, what he can easily throw at you. He is smart. And so they didn't say he has power. They said he has uh, schemes. He strategizes. So whenever I'm in a counseling room and people are telling me what happened, what happened to them and what they did, how they were fighting, I would just put down my head and shake my head. And I'll ask them, do you guys have kids? They will say, yes. I'll say, you can't see that the devil is not interested in you guys. You guys are a done deal. <laughs> is that child of those kids that is targeting? And you guys are busy doing, you guys are just, why are you taking his bait to sell the kids? Why? I don't know what I'm talking about. I do. When you're fighting the church, oh, you think it's the pastors that the devil is trying to fight? No. Strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. He's skimming. He knows what he's doing. Put on the whole armor that you may be able to stand against the skim. Of the devil. You say is the scheme that powerful? Yes, it is. His power is scheming. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood. You're not fighting with that person you're not fighting with your spouse you're not fighting with your boss you're not fighting with your neighbor you're not fighting with your whatever your colleague you're not wrestling against flesh and blood remember this is a scheme whenever there is a disagreement there is a prize there is something that the enemy is eyeing it's a scheme and that's why you should know that this is not a fight. The moment you see yourself fighting a human being, you're getting angry because a human being did something. You have totally lost it. He has, he has entrapped you. You're falling into his net like a fish. You're falling into a snare like a bird. Because you are not wrestling against flesh and blood 
you're wrestling against rulers. Not one, not two. Rulers. You're wrestling against authorities. In this life, there are territories and demons are territorial. In your area, see, sometimes you're fighting the demon in the territory of where you live. You're fighting demons in the territory of where you work. You're fighting demons in territory of where you, you, you worship. You're fighting devil in territory of where your children are schooling. And so you are not fighting just one. You're fighting rulers. You're fighting authorities. Whenever you stand for good, you are fighting authorities. You are fighting demonic powers. You are fighting against cosmic powers over this present darkness. You are fighting against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places we come here every day and we are praying don't you know that this is a battleground this is a battlefield and so whenever i wake up and i have a symptom and i say my head i remember i am fighting against powers i am fast i'm fighting against principalities i'm fighting against cosmic powers i'm fighting against authorities of this present darkness whenever i speak and i say you are healed you are free you are delivered i am not just fighting my own territorial demons i have gone again into your own territory and to fight against the demons in your territory this is not a playground Life is not a playground. Things are not just happening because they have to happen. We are on a battlefield. Stop joking around. Stop playing. Stop being childish. You're fighting spiritual forces of evil. <laughs> but we shall overcome because we are not the one fighting. We have shown up on the battlefield, but there is one that is fighting on her behalf. He says, but therefore, so you don't become injured. You don't want to be wounded on the battlefront. And so you have to protect yourself. Take the whole armor of God. Shield yourself. Protect yourself. You're in the battlefield. Why do you need it? That you may be able to withstand. He didn't say that you may be able to fight. Because the battle is the Lord's. But you need to be able to withstand, to stand your ground. So when they are pushing you, you don't, you don't, you don't get pushed. You are able to stand because they will come against you. And I know some of you are already being fought against. Oh, Busaki Helikela Babashde. So you can withstand what is going on in the evil day. He says, stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth. Make sure you have the belt of truth to, pro to protect this middle ground. Have the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and as shoes for your feet. Having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. Be ready. In all circumstances, take up, not some, take up the shield of faith. By faith shall you prevail. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. The just shall live by faith. In all circumstances, Always hold up 
faith. Let the weak say I am strong. Never give in to the trap of the enemy to confess what you see. You've got to confess the word of God. You confess what should be and not what you see. For faith call it those things that be not as though they were. Don't fall into the trap of the enemy to confess negative. For the life and death are in the power of the tongue. The devil needs to use your mouth to be able to defeat you. Don't fall for it. And so, always in all circumstances, hold up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. You can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. That is to say, there are darts that have been thrown at you that are blazing. They're like fire. They are being thrown at you every day. You wake up, they're thrown at you. You're sleeping, they're throwing them at you. You're going to work, they're throwing them at you. The Bible says, with your shield of faith, you can extinguish all those dots. The fire inside the dots can be quenched. It's still coming at you. It's just that it will not consume you. It will not burn you down. He says, in all circumstances, taking off the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming dots of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation. Please don't remove that helmet. You need it. Your salvation is your helmet. It's covering your head. If they blow your head, you're gone. You have a breastplate of righteousness because you need to protect your heart. You have this shield of faith to quench all the fairy darts of the enemy. You have the helmet of salvation. And you have the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Put on a whole armor of God. Stay on the word of God. Study to show yourself approved. Day and night. Well, I say, you know, stay on the word of God. It's for your good. Don't complain and say, oh, I don't want to do it. I rather want to watch shows and be on social media or do all those kind of things. In this world where there are evil nets, you can't afford to do that. You cannot. Anytime you're moving, there are darts that have been thrown at you. And you're not fighting human beings. So if there's anyone that you think has done evil to you, you're fighting your parents, your children, your neighbor, put an end to that. That is a trap. That is a scheme to distract you from the battle so you can be taken in the evil net. That would not be your portion. I want you to go to God today and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, deliver me from every net that has entrapped me. In the name of Jesus, every net, oh God, that we are falling into, every trap that we are falling into. Lord, the Bible said the lawful captives shall be delivered. I am delivered in the name of Jesus. I am set free in the name of Jesus from every trap of the devil from every snare of the devil i am delivered every part of me is delivered in the name of jesus my children they are delivered today in the name of jesus lord thank you oh god for your deliverance in the mighty name of jesus we we'll bless and exalt your name hallowed be your name forevermore in jesus name we have prayed amen and amen life is a choice choose life that you may live in Jesus name let's just quickly go to our affirmation it's on just flaky app if you've not downloaded it please download just flaky app please share it and go just give us a good review we can just say this out after me I am a new creation all things have passed away and all things have become new I walk in the spirit I do not fulfill the lust of the flesh. I am emotionally intelligent and I'm becoming a better version of myself through a renewed mind. I have the mind of Christ and I understand the things of the spirit. My past is not an obstacle 
to my future but a testimony. I am stronger than any challenge and I choose to make the most of every situation or opportunity. I love God, I love myself, and I love people. Today is a good day and good things will happen to me, for me, and through me. I am brimming with energy. I'm overflowing with joy and I embrace who I am. I strive to learn with an open and a positive mindset. I am time obedient. I am slow to speak. I'm quick to hear and I'm slow to anger. I walk in love, joy, and peace. I am good, I am kind, and I'm gentle. I am faithful and I'm patient. I have self-control. I am walking in God's purpose for my life. I have an excellent spirit. I'm a positive influence and I commit to smiling today in the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed. Eternal Rock of Ages, we glorify your name. We thank you for your word. We thank you because we are delivered. We thank you because we are smart, we are wise, and Lord, we are under your shadow, oh God. We pray, oh God, Jehovah, that you'll keep us on the path of righteousness for your namesake. We pray, Lord, that our secrets will be better than our open. We pray, Jehovah, Lord, that we'll walk in holiness and righteousness. Lord, even as we submit ourselves to you today, Father, Lord, a living sacrifice, oh God, that is, a, that, that is our reasonable service, Lord. That's the only reasonable thing we can do. Lord, we can do nothing without you. And so we acknowledge you today. We trust you with all our hearts, oh God. We do not lean onto our own understanding. And we pray, oh God, that you open our eyes of understanding, oh God. We pray that you grant us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you. We pray, Father, that we will not, Lord, be entrapped any longer. Our children are not going to be entrapped. Our Spouses are not entrapped in the name of Jesus. I cover every one of us, body, soul, and spirit in the precious blood of the land. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. We come against you by the authority in the name of Jesus. We'll resist you and we'll bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. We be upon our bodies the mark of Christ. Let no man trouble us in the name of Jesus. Everything that you have that belongs to us in your evil coven, in the name of Jesus, we set them ablaze. With the fire of the Holy Spirit will bless and exalt your name, O oh God, because you are able to do exceeding abundantly above what we ask or imagine according to the power at work within us. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm Reverend Dr. Olufolake, I'm the president of Just Flaky. Please make sure you download our app so you can know what is happening. We also give every day. Please be a giver. If you give to God, it's an insurance with a divine guarantee. Because you want God to rebuke the virus for your sake. You don't want to mess with tithes and offering. You want to give to people, please go to the app and just click on give. Or you can go to justflaky.net.in to know how to give or pform.org slash give. Just please be a giver. Don't eat what belongs to God. It's accursed and you don't want that to stand in your way. I also want to remind us of our upcoming event, October 8th. It's going to be via Zoom. It's about mental health, marriage, and motivation. You need to be motivated. In this world where there is so much hardship, you need God. And so that's all I'm talking about. I'm trying to motivate you, push you forward. And I'm also giving you nuggets, you know, from all the books and experiences I've had. I want you to do great in this life. I want you to be a living testimony. And so please make sure you also extend the invitation. Register. Make sure you register via um, Eventbrite. It's on the app so you can always get it. They buy the Bible um, in the app. Please, you want to send questions. Please be free to send questions as well. If you want to send questions, you want to know something, you're not sure about something, it could be about life, it could be about Bible, it could be an advice, you want to do that. And then if you want therapy also, you can always book an appointment through the app. I want to thank every one of you that is here, Yemian, um, Srampa. I can see you, Kelet. How is UK doing? I just want to thank the Lord. I can see Olua Shekuna Yomi. Yomi. Oh, I should know how to call that. I want to know how to call that. I can see 
um, Shaiba Sipita. I want to thank everyone from Kev. God bless you, Alex. God bless you. God bless everyone that has been an encouragement on this prayer altar. We're coming again tomorrow to pray and bring down the walls of darkness. We will not give in. We will not give up because the Lord is on the throne, is on our side. And we are seated with Christ Jesus in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers. We give God glory because he's done it already. God bless you, Esther. God bless you, everyone. I love you so much and see you same time tomorrow. Remember, Friday is our communion service. Always get your communion ready before the Friday worship. I love you so much and remain strong in the Lord your God. Make sure you stay under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen and